feels so good, Frankie. Even better than I remember. <laughs> Isn't that a compliment? I missed you. Do you have any idea how much I missed you? I never stopped thinking about you. Every time I looked down at my dress, I would think of how handsome you looked standing at the altar in your wedding outfit. You didn't think I ditched you, did you? Not for a second. I was beginning to think I would never see you again. And I was never really afraid of those guys, but the one thing I was afraid of was that if they did hurt me and I never saw you again, Don't. I would never get a chance to tell you what you really mean to me. You are the only man I have ever loved, Cass. Did I tell you that? No. It's true. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And I never thought I would find someone to love. I love you so much, Frankie. Don't ever forget that. Not yet. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think there's something that we have to do as soon as humanly possible. I need a shower, don't I? Aside from that. <laughs> well, let's call Felicia. About a shower? About a wedding. You really want to marry me, huh? Night sound all right to you? Is there a full moon? Do you care? No. <laughs> Tonight, I'm throwing caution and harmonic convergence to the wind. Is that an I do? That's an I do. Where's your car? About a mile down the hill. Risha. Frankie, let's get hitched. <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> I, I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? You've covered everything. Can we hurry this up, officer? This beautiful woman and I have a wedding to get to. <laughs> I'm Here, afraid, honey. I'm afraid that your social life is just gonna have to wait. This isn't about social life. This is our destiny. And this is my job. Now look, I want these creeps who snatched Frankie to pay for it too. Well, you, yeah, the perpetrator has been apprehended. You got Ted? And that Eddie jerk? What about this other guy? Ryan. What, did, what are you doing about him? <sighs> Ryan is a special case. <laughs> oh goodness, who's that? Could you do mine, darling? Oh, sure. Thank you. La, la, la. Yes. Oh, send her up. Who? Oh. Felicia. Felicia. Darling, I need to talk to you, and I need to talk to you now. We, we haven't got time to fel for Felicia. Besides, I've got that new maid started. You know, Vivian's gone off in another emergency. Luke, I have wonderful news. Cass called just a few minutes ago. You found Frank? Yes, and she's fine. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> great. That's great. There are such things as telephones, Felicia. Surely even you could have used one. Yes. Is the bride and groom here? Yeah. Uh, this is the bride. I'm the groom. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Hey. What do you want with us? Well, I'm to escort you back to Bay City for your wedding. Tonight. 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 Well, let's get this show on the road. Oh. Ready? Hey, guys. <gasps> oh, bless you, honey. You gonna be all right? I'll be fine. Yeah. So Frankie's really okay? She really is. Oh, that's great. And Cass, of course, is walking on air. He oh. can't wait to get her to the altar. They're not gonna postpone the wedding. No, they're not. I'm meeting him at their house. Oh, that's great. Well, you tell her good luck for me, okay? I will. Thanks for coming, Fanny. Yeah. Thanks for all your help, Luke. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, what a relief. We don't have to go through all that ooming again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, only. Oh, oh, is this a bottle of champagne? Oh, it is. Iris, you shouldn't have. Cass and Frankie will love this from you. And listen, Iris, I am so sorry that I bursted in on you. Luke will explain everything. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye-bye, Fanny. Well, will you? Will I what? Explain everything. Oh, not now, Iris. Come on, you've got to fill me in. All right, well, you know uh, how I was pressuring Grant Harrison to, you know, drop my case? Yeah, but what has this got to do with Frankie? Well, it seems as if this pressure triggered a series of events which ended up in the kidnapping. You're responsible? Oh, Iris, I didn't think it was gonna... that was gonna happen. Lucas, I... I, I want you to tell me the whole story, and I don't want you to leave anything out, right? Oh, gosh. Oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. <sighs> Um, yes. 
Ken Jordan. All right, the story will just have to wait. Um, send him up, send him up. Uh, send him up. Wh what is he doing here? <laughs> Cupid arranged it. You are really going all out here, are you? Pardon? To get Rachel. Oh, darling, I'm not getting her. I want to help her. She needs a man in her life. Uh, All right. Hi. Hi. Lucas. How's it going? Very well, thank you. Yeah, especially since Iris has taken such an interest in my new project. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. That is why you invited me here tonight, right? Of course, absolutely. Good, because I put together a two-hour slide presentation. It'll explain all about the history of the project. How delightful. Now, where should I put this? I know exactly where I'd like to put it. Such a beautiful wedding. It is going to be. It is. Oh, everybody. Everybody must be so disappointed. Not me. I'm on the top of the world. I don't want to see you sad. Why us, Cass? Why did it have to happen to us? Look at it this way. The bad times are all behind us. I'm going to marry the woman I love tonight. And it's going to be the most beautiful wedding any two people have ever had. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. To ask her to grouch, maybe. Oh, ye of little faith. Guess how are the two of us going to clean this whole place up? Who said anything about the two of us? Well, hey, what's everybody standing around for? Word has it, it's supposed to be a wedding here. <laughs> <laughs>